Hey guys, in this video I have 17 different websites where you can actually earn money online that also allow you to collect your money as soon as daily or within around 24 hours. So the first one to check out is called Scribby. Scribby is a transcription website. This means you basically get paid to listen to audio and video files and basically type what you hear. So when you go to Scribby.com, you'll want to go to the bottom where it says freelancers and then it'll say freelance transcription you earn five to twenty dollars per audio hour and they provide automated transcripts that save you sixty percent of the typing effort which means this five to twenty dollars per audio hour may not sound like much but when sixty percent of the work is being done for you it's actually more than that because you can actually get your work done faster and the name of the game in transcription is basically being able to be accurate but get your work done quickly. The faster you can get your work done, the more you get paid per hour of work, as opposed to just per hour of audio finished. So you would listen, and this one is mostly going to be English-based. You'll correct mistakes as you go along with the software and then get paid via PayPal. So they have average earnings on here, which will vary, of course, depending on which level you're at, beginner to advanced. And then the only thing you really need, you don't really need any experience or special degrees or anything like that. You just need good English comprehension, a PayPal account, laptop or desktop, internet, and headphone or headset. Lots of really nice perks for this one, lots of flexibility. Another nice thing about them is you don't have to set aside a very large block of time when you want to do work. So for instance, if you come home and from your nine to five job and you wanna do a little bit of extra work, you can get paid by doing, you know, maybe a file or two after work and basically they won't usually be longer than around six minutes. So you can just do a few small files at a time instead of dedicating huge blocks of time to one job. And the thing that makes them really nice compared to a lot of transcription websites is not only do they automate a lot of it for you, but they also tell you right here there's no minimum withdrawal limit. The funds will be sent to your PayPal account in one business day. Next, you have a website called Feature Points. Now, this is not a website to depend on for a lot of income. This is just something to do kind of on the side. A lot of people just use this for the app, which is a free app you can get on your smartphone to just earn a few extra dollars here and there. But the nice thing about them is they are very good about paying you extremely fast. I've gotten most of my payments from this website within less than 24 hours. So you see right here, you have all sorts of different things you can do. You have these surveys that you can take and they basically pay you a certain amount of points per survey. You have offers that you can do as well that will pay you really big chunks. Sometimes you'll even have some companies you've heard of before. You can win by putting your points into entries. You can download apps and try out these apps. This is kind of what they're mainly known for is basically you download their free app on say like Google Play for instance. You know, it's a 3.7 out of 5 star rated app which is pretty good. It's on both Apple and Android. And basically you get paid to download apps and then try them out. So you'll have a list of apps. There'll be all sorts of games, social media apps, etc. And then you get paid to basically download the app through them instead of through just the direct play store or the app store and then you basically will use the app for like two minutes and then they give you a big chunk of points and you use these points to cash out so for instance they have lots of different gift cards you can cash out with like Amazon uh, for instance if you want to do like a two dollar Amazon gift card that would be 1200 points and so then you have cash which is PayPal and then you also have Bitcoin as well. Surprisingly, you can actually do Bitcoin. $10 of Bitcoin is 6,000 points. So for instance, if I use my points right now, I could get about four of these. So I could get like $40 worth of Bitcoin right now just with the points I have saved up on this app. Another one to check out that's kind of similar to feature points would be something like SuperPay, which is at superpay.me. This is another website that mainly just pays you for doing extra stuff on the side. So if you wanted to get paid to take surveys, you could go to superpay.me and you can get paid today. That's actually one of their like slogans here is they are big on paying out very quickly. Now again, 
The caveat here is you're not going to get paid a whole lot. You might get paid a few extra dollars per day, but you also have a lot of convenient payment methods via Amazon, PayPal, um, and Skrill, and a bunch of other options as well. So they say they have an eight hour payment process uh, promise. So basically you can get paid within around eight hours of when you decide to um, cash out. You can also cash out with as little as $1 at a time. So as soon as you're in $1, you can receive that $1 and they've paid out over $6 million to their members. They also have a really good trust pilot score of 4.4 out of five stars as a verified company. Next, we have a company called Citizen Me. Citizen Me is another surveys app that you can use to get paid as soon as daily. They have very good ratings, 4.2 out of five stars. And as you can see, they have plenty of screenshots you can look through. And they have all sorts of just random surveys about random things. So, you know, you can also keep track of a few of the things related to your demographic. So that'll get you certain surveys based on, you know, certain things about your, your certain data, your personal data, but obviously they take your safety very seriously and they mention that right here. There's no data sharing or anything like that. Um, and they have very good ratings because of that. So if you are okay with taking surveys and you are okay with just making a few extra dollars, maybe when you're on the go, if you're waiting in line or you know, maybe you're getting gas or something like that, this would be a great thing that you could do just for a few extra dollars on the side and you can get paid daily. Another website where you can get paid extra money is QMe.com, and they've paid out over $45 million to users. They've been around for like 10 plus years. They've been around a really long time. And basically, you can earn real cash with paid online surveys that actually pay you instantly. They tell you right here, you can withdraw instantly with QMe. They have really good trust pilot scores, which is always a great sign you want to look for. 4.2 out of 5 stars as a verified company. And then you can earn anytime, anywhere. You can get paid via PayPal, Venmo, etc. And you can also get paid via gift cards as well. So basically you just give your opinion. You have these like multiple choice type of uh, surveys that you can take. You can also get cash back by shopping with them as well and get a lot of discounts on different stores that you would use online. So it's just a get paid to app. They also have, you know, games and stuff that you can play. So it's one of those where, you know, there's a bunch of just websites like these where you make a few extra dollars by either playing a game or trying out an app or taking a survey, watching a video and those types of things. And these are some of the best ones for just earning something daily. Um, with just a few extra dollars in your spare time. Now we're getting into more of what would be like a job or a business. This is at clearvoice.com and clearvoice is a website where you can get paid to write articles as a freelancer. So this is something that could be something that starts out part-time, could even become full-time for you later on. So people actually make good money with these types of websites. It's also a Fiverr owned company as you see at the top right or the top left under their logo, which means they are basically a company owned by one of the biggest freelance websites in the world, Fiverr. And this is a company that also gives you a lot of freedom of not having to bid on jobs. You can work when you want and you get paid to just write articles. So you have easy client communication with an in-app messaging program. You have, you have the ability to secure better jobs with their talent network where they basically will match you with jobs instead of you having to go and search for what's being posted and also bid back and forth and try to compete with others. You also can build your brand. You can strengthen your free CV portfolio and use Career Voice to help grow your business. You can set your own rates. You can decide how much you get paid as well, which is really nice and then you can get paid quickly. You get paid via PayPal upon assignment approval. Rest assured, you'll get paid quickly every single time. So you can get paid as soon as daily with these jobs, as soon as it gets approved. And they will want you to basically make a profile with a clear voice handle, tagline, a few work samples and things like that. But other than that, you don't really have to have like an interview or any of those types of things. Now, as far as what other people have averaged at clear voice, obviously you get to set your own pay rate which is really nice, but you need to know obviously what the averages are because that helps you know how to avoid pricing yourself out of a lot of jobs because you're charging too much. And you also don't want to charge too little or you're not getting enough for your time. It's not going to be worth it. So you have to find that nice middle ground of 
you know, pricing yourself competitively, but still getting well compensated. So if you look at the averages for people here on an hourly basis, freelance writers averaging around $25 an hour. And then, you know, you have like copywriters averaging around 30. So something along those lines, freelance writer, $26 in total pay. It looks like the mid 20s to maybe, maybe, you know, like the low 30s is what you could maybe expect here. Next is a odd website called Poplin, which is actually very highly rated, I should add because Poplin is a place where you do get to work from home for the most part, but there is a part of the job where you will have to leave the house. So the majority of your work is at home, but if you go to poplin.co and go to Laundry Pros, this is where you can get paid up to $6,000 a month, and that's coming straight from the website, and that is what their top earners average is around that number. So obviously they have different tiers of what their earners get, on a consistent basis, but it's a very easy type of job. You're literally just doing laundry for people. It's gonna be best if you are located near a major city in the United States. So you sign up and you learn the best practices for doing laundry. They will help you fold properly to maximize the efficiency of all the laundry process. You'll accept the jobs that you want in your area. You can work as much or as little as you want when you want and you pick up wander, return, and repeat. So they have average earned by top 10 laundry pros, 5,800 a month. Average earned by top 100, 2,500 a month. Earned by you, possibly, you know, it's going to vary. So as far as what you're going to really need for this, they are available in over 500 cities in the United States. You can put your zip code in, they'll tell you if you're able to do this. The sign up process is fairly simple. 18 years of age or older is what you need to be in terms of age, eligibility to work in the US, and have a way to pick up and deliver orders. Now, as far as how much you work, that's up to you because you're a contractor. So you're not gonna be given a schedule. You need a smartphone access to a washer and dryer, a mode of transportation, and a few household items like laundry detergent, clear bags, labels, and a simple bathroom scale. Now they say you can average around 6,000 a month if you're in the top tier. But as far as what most people average, you wanna look for you know, Poplin on Glassdoor and look at reviews from people who have actually worked with this company. 310 people averaged around $36 per hour here. So obviously the pay can be very good. You also see some other independent contractors, 17 people averaging around 46. Next is a company I've covered a few times, which is Amazon Mechanical Turk. If you already have an Amazon account, or you're okay with making a new one, you can actually use that directly with this website and start getting paid to do odd jobs online. And what I mean by odd jobs is basically micro task jobs, which basically means you do a one-off job. It's a job that you do one time and then you go on and find another one. It might take you five minutes to do it, it might take you 10 minutes, it just depends on which job you do. This will also vary in terms of pay. But these are jobs where you don't really need any kind of experience or interview or any kind of special credentials to do them. They're very, very easy. And so you can go to mturk.com at the top right and click learn more next to the worker section. And then you can sign up with your existing profile on Amazon if you already have one or just make a new Amazon profile. And then you can get paid to do all sorts of different categories of jobs. You have image and video processing, data verification and cleanup, you have information gathering, so they have lots of different research type jobs, and data processing as well, which is a lot of common online jobs like rating the accuracy of search results, translating content from one language to another, and more. Now, average in Mechanical Turk workers, according to Amazon, have around uh, $56,000 per year. If you were to divide that by 2080, an hourly rate for that would be on average you know, around $25 or so per hour. Next, you have a company called ShiftSmart. ShiftSmart is another website that's known for paying very quickly. And at ShiftSmart, you have all sorts of different types of jobs, and they're going to vary depending on when you check here. So when you go here, you wanna to go to their partners page, and you can go to shiftsmart.com partners to find that. And then they have an app that you can get here. So when you check out this app, Basically, you can download it here or you can check it out right here on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. It's very highly rated, it's got four out of five stars. And basically, you just set up your profile, you schedule your shift, 
and benefit from many different opportunities. So you can earn money starting with just a few simple steps and you can get paid to do all sorts of things like survey calling, mystery shopping. You can do customer service, call center stuff. That would be more something you could do, you know, at home and administrative type jobs could also probably be done at home as well. And then they have a lot of other jobs you can do kind of in person. So when you go to workers there at the top right, they'll show you kind of what they have as far as featured work opportunities right now. And these can vary, of course, depending on when you check, but you have store associates, you have retail auditors, you have tech product testers, and then you have survey callers. So for instance, if you were to click on one of these, basically you would download the app, submit your job application, complete the onboarding process and get paid uh, very quickly here. So you can also work as much or as little as you like. If you click on one of these, just click on the name of the job and they'll tell you more information. Like this one pays around $10 per hour. And then you're doing something very easy where you're doing just survey callers that conduct phone surveys from home and basically they partner with well-known brands to conduct surveys on their behalf. They will have you read some scripts and record answers from respondents using their software and that's it. And then they'll tell you the requirements which are usually, usually very minimal, not really requiring any kind of experience or anything like that. Now as far as averages, they have you know some averaging around 18, 17 an hour. You know, you'll see some others that say 17 or the full range might be as low as 13 on some of these. And then, of course, if you check the um, the page where they tell you what the specific job might pay, like I showed you one example, it paid around $10 an hour for this one, but some of the other ones might pay more than that. It just depends on which one you do. Next, we have something that's fairly easy to do as something that's more of a side hustle. This is not something you want to depend on for your bills or anything like that, but it could help you, you know, maybe pay a bill every once in a while. It's a company called playtestcloud.com. This is a place where you actually get to help developers make better games, specifically mobile games. So obviously mobile games have really um, taken over the gaming industry. I believe they're the most popular um, device to play games on like by far now. I saw a chart the other day that said, you know, like console versus PC versus mobile. Mobile seems to really be taking over the world in terms of gaming because of its convenience and because of how many people have mobile smartphone devices already. So with this, what you can do is sign up as a qualified game tester. So they have a qualification test that you have to pass, which is unpaid. And once you get that, you basically can start doing this and get paid to, you know, play all sorts of mobile games and test them and give feedback about them. So you can help develop games. You can help with updates, finding bugs. They allow you to do this from a lot of different countries around the world. And they don't have a lot of really crazy requirements or anything like that. So they tell you that you need to pass a qualification test, you know, what kind of devices you can use, which is Android, iOS, etc. How much money you can make each 15 minute test is around nine dollars so you're looking at you know if you did the math it'd be like 36 dollars an hour on average but that's only if you had like four lined up you know for that hour so how many jobs you get will vary quite a bit i would not expect to get a lot of you know constant games to test you might get like one every once in a while or two but I would not count too much on this, but like I said, you can get paid very quickly as soon as daily from my research. And they also pay you via gift cards, virtual bank cards, PayPal, etc. There's also no minimum amount needed to get paid. That also tells me you can get paid very quickly when there is no minimum. So if you wanna look for other websites outside of the ones I show you in this video, if you look for the ones that don't have a minimum to withdraw, those are the ones you can usually get paid on a daily or maybe every other day basis. Next, we have a company called IAM. IAM allows you to also get paid to basically post stock photos. You get to keep 50% of what you earn in terms of royalties when every person buys the rights to use your photos. So I don't know what the future looks like for stock photo websites. I do believe that some people could be making more with the power of AI and some people could make less with AI. It just depends. But I do believe this could be a really good opportunity to use AI, you know, tools like Dolly and Midjourney to create some amazing stock photos. And if you know how to do search engine optimization for the site that you're doing these on, 
you can mass produce a bunch of these stock photos for people that are pretty much copyright free and get paid off of royalties for companies to use these photos. Now, is this going to be a long lasting thing that you can depend on? I don't know because a lot of those companies might just start using AI to generate their own images instead of paying for the rights on here. But for right now, the website's still up and running. It's still going and this is a website where you can make money as a contributor. So if you go to four contributors, you can go to sell your work and then get started from there. You can just click start selling your work and you can get paid to upload and sell your photos. And every time you sell it, you can earn royalties. So in other words, you can sell one photo multiple times. It's just basically people downloading the photo and paying you for the rights. So you're basically doing this all in a digital way where you can earn passive income. That's another really nice thing about this. You get to keep full copyright of your images and they also partner with Getty and some of the other top photo agencies to help find you more buyers. There's also no minimum to, to actually withdraw how much you earn and you can get paid via convenient third party sites like PayPal. Next is a company you've probably heard of called DoorDash. DoorDash is another website that pays you on a daily basis. Obviously, this is one of the few on this list where you're not working from home or you're doing something at home the whole time, unless you somehow create a profile and find a way to get paid to refer other drivers. But if you are using DoorDash, most likely what you're doing is you are signing up to be a driver and to deliver food for people. The nice thing about them is they can pay you on a daily basis to literally just go to a restaurant, pick up someone's food and deliver it to them. They have certain fees that you are entitled to for using it, basically a delivery fee, and then you get a part of that. And then you also get a tip from whoever is buying the food. So. It's kind of something you can do. I've heard people earn as much as like $20 an hour here, but obviously it can be up and down depending on the time of year you do this. Like for instance, summer can be more competitive and you might get paid less during the summer because that's when all the college kids and the high school kids are out and they might all be signing up for DoorDash as their summer job and they wanna make a little extra money while they're out of school. So for instance, this is not something you want to depend on long term, but you can get paid on a daily basis to just deliver food. Now, as far as what other people are reporting they made as a driver, the one with the most feedback with a thousand people says 19 plus three additional pay, which is around $21 per hour. And then you have another almost thousand people saying they made around $25 an hour. They're all right around that $20 per hour mark or so. But if you look at the breakdown of how much you get paid, it's usually around $2 to $10 plus per order, plus an additional pay for promotions. For instance, sometimes if it's a bad weather day, they have promotions. Or, you know, if it's a big like sports day, you know, maybe if it's the Super Bowl or something. And then you get 100% of the tip on top of that. So you could earn anywhere from like $15 to $25 per hour according to my research. And you can also get paid daily for a $1.99 fee or two to three days for direct deposit directly into your bank. Now, Fiverr is another website where you can get paid as soon as daily. I mentioned Clear Voice earlier, Clear Voice being you know, a Fiverr owned website. That's mainly just for freelance writing. But Fiverr is a general freelance website where you get paid to basically sell your services online. This is something that can apply to just about any possible business or service that can be done with a computer. Now, if you're someone who's like an electrician or a plumber or something, you're not gonna probably make any money on Fiverr. But if you are a web developer, if you're a logo designer, if you know a lot about AI, if you can give business advice, whatever, video editor, etc., you can do pretty much any of that kind of stuff on Fiverr to just become a seller. Now you can go and click on one of the random categories and see what these look like. So for instance, you'll see some of these are top rated, some of these are pro, some of these have high price points, some of these are low. Now if you look at the beginning of Fiverr, the beginning of Fiverr, it's called Fiverr because everything was like $5 or multiples of $5. So most of the gigs in the beginning were like $5, $10. You could find all sorts of people. And this actually got a lot of traction. And then they kind of started to scale up how much you could sell services for over time. 
because there's a big demand for a freelance site where it was basically like making a freelance service store instead of bidding on jobs and doing things the old fashioned way that freelancers used to do. So for instance, if you clicked on a random profile, you'll notice like what top profiles look like. How do they do their description? and things like that and what kind of photos do they have like you'll have all sorts of examples of their work as well and then you'll have their different packages that they sell and how long they take how much they cost and what you know comes with that package and then you'll see their reviews you'll see you know the title of the job and what they actually do for services and then you can contact them via a messenger so you can actually get paid on a daily basis, usually one to three business days via, via PayPal, Fiverr, revenue card, bank transfer, direct deposit, or Payoneer. Now you get to set your own prices, but if you want to see what people average here, you can go to the hourly pay on Fiverr on their, on their uh, Glassdoor page, and you'll notice that you have freelancers averaging around $38 per hour based on 87 people submitting salaries. You'll have more specific ones as well. Like if you're specifically trying to do graphic design, they average around 26. Obviously you get to set your own pay rate so it can vary. But I, like I say, it's always good to look at the averages because then you know how to you know, be competitive price wise where you're not pricing yourself too high to where nobody's gonna wanna hire you. So you can look and see how much people make here, but in general, freelancers typically average around 38 an hour, but that's across all industries. So it doesn't mean you're going to want to charge that much for your industry. I would recommend looking up the specific type of service you want to provide. Like if you're a video editor, these people typically charge around $30 an hour. So just go from there as well. So that can help you figure out how much to price your services. Now next we have a service called Handy, which is actually now owned by Angie Services. Angie kind of started out as something called Angie's List, which was supposed to be a place where you could find, you know, some of the best contractors, highly rated contractors, reputable contractors in your area for all sorts of home-based services. Now Handy was actually a competitor to something like TaskRabbit, which basically was a home service gig economy app where you would get paid to do, you know, handyman work or lawn care services, cleaning and all of that stuff in your local area for your neighbors, basically, and ba basically get paid through the app. It's a gig, gig economy, peer to peer type of app, kind of like Uber, DoorDash and, you know, Instacart and stuff like that, except it's for home services. Now, Angie bought the rights of handy.com apparently and so now they have a little bit of a different website layout and everything, but typically in the past, Handy used to say you could make up to $22 per hour as a cleaner, $45 per hour as a handyman, and around $62 per hour as a lawn care pro. So they tell you right here, you have great pay, flexible schedule, easy payments, no more tracking down payments from customers. Your payments are directly deposited into your bank account soon after the job is completed. So. I've seen that you can get paid as soon as daily here. You must have paid experience with the services you are applying for, however, so that would be kind of one of the caveats here. But it is also mostly United States based. Now, if you wanna look at how much people typically charge here on average, again, you get to set your own prices usually. Handyman work can be around $24 an hour. I have seen higher ratings. Again, they used to say it could be up to 45, but you know, some people might not make that depending on where they live and depending on the services. But cleaning, 18, contractor in general, 29. So you might earn as much as around 30 plus dollars an hour depending on what you do. But if you do stuff like lawn care, you know that is usually what is one of the higher paying things on here. Although you don't see lawn care on here right now, um, this can be you know a site where you can make decent money depending on what you do, again. You can look at the hourly rate, see what people charge here. I don't see some of the things on here. Cleaning is usually one of the lower paying ones, but um, then you have usually handyman after that and then lawn care is usually the highest. Now another fairly easy side hustle you can do where you can get paid daily is TriMata, which is formally known as Try My UI. This is a place where you can get paid to test websites and apps. Now if you go to trimata.com, you can go to get paid to test at the top right there and they'll have a quick and short description of what you're going to do. So they tell you right here, you can earn five to $30 per test. Now, typically 
from my research of these types of websites, there's a lot of these out there, um, and that I would recommend you know applying for more than one of these. If you if this is the route you want to go, obviously that's up to you. If you want to go the paid website testing route as a side hustle, something you do on the, you know maybe a few hours here and there on a weekly basis. It's not something you want to depend on, but if you do, you can sign up for many different websites so you have more and more opportunities. But most of them will tell you that these tests usually take around 10 to 20 minutes per test. So five to $30 per 10 to 20 minutes is essentially what you might expect here. Now they do pay you via PayPal. All you have to do is just sign up with uh, email and password. It's very simple. There's no interview, no resume or anything like that. And basically you just be yourself. You use a tested website exactly as you would in real life. Voice your thoughts and frustrations out loud so the site developers can understand your experience and others like you. So you would actually do a video recording of your screen and voice as you use a website or app. You do not have to be on camera, it's just your voice and your screen and your written responses to a short wrap up survey. So you can do as many tests as you want as long as they have that many available and then you get paid every weekday morning through PayPal. So they tell you right there is literally a daily pay website and you get paid via PayPal. Next we have a website called Agents Only, which is one I discovered fairly recently. But this is one where the only thing about this website is you do need a referral to get started with it. But they actually have a, a list of sources where you can get a referral. They have like, you know, what, six different websites or six different communities online where you can go and get a referral. All you gotta do is just message the people on these and they can wink, give you the referral that you need to get started. But essentially what you're doing is like customer support. You are your own boss, you're an independent contractor and they let you work where you want, work when you want, work the hours you want. You get to pick your projects and you get paid on a daily basis and belong to a community that cares. So to become an agent, they do recommend that you get a referral and then they you just got to click on one of these to go get that referral. And once you do so, you can start getting paid to do call support. It's like a work from home call center type of job, but you have full control. If you don't like doing eight hour days of call center work, maybe you just want to do a couple hours here and there and that's all you can tolerate for the extra money, then you can do that. That's all you have to sign up for. Now, as far as how much you get paid with agents only, the averages for this company, again, will be listed at Glassdoor usually. And you see one person has a, a posted estimate of around $19 per hour. So obviously, we would like to see a larger sample size. I don't know why only one of these is showing up when it says 26 submit, submitted salaries, but they do have $19 an hour from one person who has submitted a salary doing customer support here. Now, last but not least is something I, for one, am not necessarily recommending you do. This is something that you want to do with the utmost caution. This is something that I have dabbled in the last year or so. It's crypto investing and crypto staking. Now, I cannot legally give you financial advice as I am not a certified financial advisor, so I am not recommending you do this. But this is something you can do if you want to get paid on a daily basis because the way it works is you earn dividends. So much like you would invest in a stock that pays out quarterly dividends, if you were to invest in say Microsoft and you get paid a quarterly dividend of whatever it is, 1% or something like that, of how based on how much stock you own, um, then instead of it being quarterly, you can get paid daily dividends by, by staking. Now you can stake crypto in a lot of different ways I cover this on a separate YouTube channel because it's just a completely different ball game. And so if you wanna look up more information about this, you can follow my YouTube channel that I kinda of run on the side. I post you know, maybe once a week or so about different experiences that I've had in crypto investing um, and mostly doing different types of staking. So basically what you do is you try to find these crypto tokens that you think will do well um, in the future and then you stake a certain amount. So you basically take a certain amount of what would be kind of like, you know, a certain number of coins that you purchase and then you stake them, meaning you basically have a contract with them to, it's not really a contract, but it's basically saying, I will keep my stake of however many coins in this protocol 
in exchange for a 1% per day dividend or something like that. Now, as the price goes up and you're getting, you know, say 1% a day, then, you know, you're basically compounding how much you're earning. But the downside is the risk is that you are locking up that capital in that protocol. So instead of just buying and selling like day trading, you are essentially locking that up in exchange for dividends and you get paid daily dividends that you could do whatever you want with. You can get paid daily dividends and you can go buy stuff with crypto or you can, you know, you can deposit it. You can exchange it for dollars and deposit it into your PayPal account whatever you want to do with it. But for instance, one popular website where you can do this is pancakeswap.finance. This is one that's been around a long time. And I, like I said, I'm not endorsing any specific thing. I don't get any kind of affiliate link or anything with these, um, with this particular website, but it's, it's just to show you an example of you can go and look at these pools where you can buy these um, assets and then stake them in there and then they'll tell you the APR like right now it says up to 122 percent that means that if you were to stake you know 50 bucks into this pool and it earns the maximum APR you would earn over you would earn over a hundred dollars off of that fifty dollar investment within a year that's how it would work in theory obviously these numbers fluctuate and it there's a lot of research that goes involved into what's best to stake money in and what's not something you want to do. But as far as just a game you can play kind of financially that you can earn daily from in more of a passive income way instead of an active, you know, work type of job, then you can check that out by just checking out that channel and I'll kind of break down different things that I'm doing just for experimental purposes on, um, when it comes to staking crypto. But as far as some of the best websites for getting paid on a daily basis, those are 17 of them. Obviously crypto could be, you know, thousands of other ones just in that category, but hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed this type of content, please click the like button. It tells me when I get more likes on a particular video to do more of that for you in the future that you actually enjoyed that. And also don't forget to comment if you have a question for me or if there's something you would like me to cover in the future in another video. And I'll see you in the next video.